What is up guys, me like here and today we're back in action playing some Minecraft and uh, today's we're taking a look at Malice's door uh, Doors, uh, we're gonna do a little mod showcase spotlight thing and I'm gonna show you guys what this mod is all about So the mod should be kind of self-explanatory It has the word doors in it So and you're automatically gonna know that this is about doors and is this the best door mod ever? Probably uh, <laughs> This this mod is pretty sweet. So uh, these are all the items uh, included in the mod pack or in the mod here uh, we have player sense uh, sensors we have vanishing frames and a block mixer garage door uh, different types of doors rusty hatch uh, rusty ladder carriage door wooden glass door iron glass door gel door laboratory door factory door soji door uh, and I probably pronounced that wrong and I'm really so sorry if I do uh, curtains and rusty handles so um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at it the first thing I want to show you guys is this little thing it's called a player sensor and it's pretty sweet so right now we have a wooden glass door and uh, these are sliding doors so we can actually activate this with redstone or we can right click it as it's wood and it'll automatically open but if we're a little bit lazy and this might be pretty sweet get out of here man what are you doing yeah here as you see if you just walk to it uh, what the player sensors do is it actually just sends a red sun signal to any doors that are or anything that's nearby I'm assuming you can use it, this with anything that involves redstone so uh, if you want a player sensor you know contraption of any type uh, you can use this and it probably emits redstone I'm actually gonna test that out right now I never actually uh, tried this let's just do boom uh, redstone uh, oh yeah there we go so it, it emits redstone awesome sweet uh, so yeah we got uh, the wooden glass door player sensors they're pretty nice now uh, we're gonna go through all the doors this this mod has a lot of different types of doors and uh, the next one here is the iron glass door pretty much like the wooden glass door we walk up to it it's an iron version so that means you uh, you can't right click and make it do a thing uh, same thing for this is uh, this guy cannot be right clicked and uh, open but you can use a uh, lever or a player sensor and it opens like that pretty sweet um, that is the jail door now we have the laboratory door so let's just go ahead and oh you can right click it when you right click it it slides up and down it has a pretty sweet animation but let's go ahead and walk to it and uh, yeah, you see both of them go up and down it's pretty nice uh, right you can right click the factory door and it just opens up it like slides halfway in between it's pretty sweet and of course is fat power to redstone and uh, you know player sensor and that kind of stuff uh, next we have the soji door um, the, which I'm still pronouncing wrong uh, but we can do this it's just a sliding door um, I guess it's kind of like a Japanese door or something you know the how they have uh, the, the little panels or whatever and you see it's actually a little transparent I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the video but uh, that's pretty cool uh, next up this one's actually really cool it's a curtain so uh, same thing you can just do this and it opens up like a little curtain I love that you know what this is really good for is for windows oh this would be amazing for windows have like a house and then you have like an inset window that maybe sticks outside of the house and you stick a big curtain on it that would be sweet uh, okay next we have the carriage door and this guy is amazing look at that it's just a huge door that just opens and closes like that it's uh, it's pretty sweet um, so now now we have uh, we have these things called rusty ladders and they're just pretty much like normal ladders you, you can grab them and stick them anywhere you want and uh, you can climb up them and do that kind of stuff and then we have this thing called a rusty hatch which is a two by two you just right click it, it does a sweet little door opening animation right there uh, this is for you know like our underground bunkers or something something like that it's gonna respin and close uh, I think that's really cool oh I fell through that do you always fall through that okay no that was just like it didn't complete its closing animation uh, guys 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 seriously Guys, seriously, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. What are you doing? Okay, so let's, uh, uh, yeah, difficulty zero. There we go. Um, so next up, we have the garage door. Now, the cool thing about the garage door is this guy can be any shape or size. We can make this as small or as big as we want this. This can be a two by two. This could be a one by uh, four. So it's pretty much a multi block. And uh, it all has the same animation. So it is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and look at this. So this is the back side of it. This is like if you were inside the garage, it kind of uh, goes up and up on the ceiling, just like you'd expect a garage door to do. And this is a, uh, it looks like a four by four. Now I have another one over here, and this is a uh, two by three. Let's just go ahead and open this guy. And this would be if you're on like. Like the outside and that kind of stuff so uh, those are pretty much all the doors now we have a few extra things I want to show you guys uh, first up is this block mixer now the block mixer is pretty cool you can mix any type of blocks right here I mix iron and glowstone uh, lapis and a sponge glass and leaves uh, a cactus and a diamond ore um, a diamond block and actually this is a chest a diamond block and a chest and then we have a uh, uh, enchanting table and then a in portal frame so yeah you can mix any block but I want to show you guys some stuff so all you got to do is stick an iron or any sort of block in here and then you can actually do uh, 
water and lava, and it's really cool. I'll show you guys what exactly this does. So now um, we have this guy, and as you can see, it'll do a little water flowing animation, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that's uh, really cool. And then now we can do a block of iron and then like a, a bucket of lava. Uh, right here now. I want to test something out. Can we do two buckets of lava and then it's just gonna be like a A, a flowing lava thing. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and throw this here as you see it's a uh, flowing lava It's pretty sweet uh, now. Let's do two buckets of lava and no it doesn't look like two buckets of lava was, Would work. I was hoping you could do like maybe a full lava block or something. That might, might be kind of cool um, So next thing up is you can do a ender pearl with a block Oh uh, with a block and what this does is actually gives the animation of a um a in portal so yeah you get this right here uh boom uh stuff and eh, there we go uh as you see in portal i think that looks really cool that might be kind of cool with like maybe a uh just just anything the for decoration or anything i think that looks really cool i might like decorate a house or something or like a base like a big big awesome base with that or something i don't know you but you can have all these kind of t uh, flowing texture blocks and that way you don't accidentally burn yourself or drown yourself or you know go to the end or whatever um Next up, we have the door factory. So there's different types of frames and they all have different attributes, but for this spotlight, I'm just gonna show the diamond uh, vanishing frame. And uh, what this is for is you door factory here. You can make any type of door. So let's go to properties. And if you look at the movement here, you'll see uh, sliding up and down, rotating up and down, sliding four ways, spinning, vault, rotating, rotating four ways, sliding up, rotating, vanishing, sliding on the side, spinning around, rotating and sliding, rotating and replacing. So this has a lot of different modes you can do. Uh, just for the sake of this, I'm going to do Let's do rotating and replacing and then here you can do the opening time. This is how long it takes to actually open and close uh, Let's make it really fast. Let's do one and requires redstone nah and then double door uh, Sure, and then we're sound type. This is just uh, the sounds it makes for the doors uh, We'll do pneumatic door and then for materials I'll just I'm gonna do dirt and diamonds and vanishing frame. So let's just build the door. There we go We have a, a custom custom door here so let's go ahead and, and do this guy and um uh i'm just doing it wrong that's what's happening let's just build the door here so sliding up and down perfect uh to boom and then um why you there we go okay so yeah yeah this is open really fast so this is just like the laboratory door over there so it slides up and down and you can you know pick any attribute from any of these doors and have it you know go on any sort of block combination you want to do so that's pretty sweet um and here, I've just done a few block combinations. Right here, you have this uh, rotating spinning thing right here. It looks pretty cool. And then right here, you have uh, a vanishing. You can actually make it completely vanish uh, and disappear, which is actually pretty sweet. And then uh, you guys see right here, this is a four-way four, four -way sliding. And then uh, right here, we have uh, the sliding out, then in sort of thing. And uh, that's pretty cool. So you can do all kinds of cool different animations. You can mix and match blocks and uh, do all that kind of cool stuff. Oh, oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys with the block mixer is you can mix uh, two different types of glasses and I saw a screenshot people made like the color of the rainbow with the glasses so you might be able to do some cool effects with this uh, let's go ahead and, yeah look like black to green yeah that's cool I like that I like that a lot um, awesome and last thing up is we have the the force field controller so uh, the force field controller uh, is pretty sweet you can make force fields as big or small as you want and it keeps things from um, you know like uh, going in and out of it it block stuff completely so this might be good for windows or whatever I uh, might be good for some other things But it kind of reminds me of like the old-school halo uh, Force fields or whatever you would see like uh, on campaign or you know just in multiplayer matches and stuff like that uh, But yeah, oh I broke it So the way you use this is you just right click on uh, two different things and boom there you go uh, Two corners just like if you're using world edit or something. Uh, it's very very simple So just right click and boom and this guy uh, uses a charge um, but it slowly recharges over time and you don't have to power this or anything. So yeah, it's pretty sweet um, Anyways, this is pretty much malice's doors if you guys enjoy the spotlight make sure to go ahead and click the like button um, I love you guys and yeah, I'll see you next time and like I said before any support or help You can give me with clicking the like button comment down below uh, sharing and favoring it and that'd be freaking amazing Anyways, I love your all's faces and I'll see you guys next time
Okay, so a few things I actually forgot to mention is uh, the force field controller. You just right click the force field and turn it on and off. Uh, so this would be a good way to have a door where things can't enter like mobs. And you could just have to keep this thing on you at all times and you can just open and close your door at will. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the force fields are definitely really cool. So the next thing up is uh, we actually have these uh, frames here. And uh, right here we have uh, the wood frames and then uh, the iron frames. So all you got to do is uh, you can, I'm just going to show you guys what they do. They just disappear by default and uh, they're pretty cool. So uh, then you can just right click uh, whatever block you want them, however you want them to look. Right here I, I right click glass in them and right here I right click uh, iron. So you could have like a seamless seamless uh, flush door and then with the, the player detectors up here, you know, you just walk up to it and you, uh, suddenly it's a wall and suddenly it's a door. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right here, uh, you know, we have uh, the golden frames and I just put diamond blocks in it. And as you see, you make the doors uh, pretty large, uh, pretty interconnected and just one redstone signal will uh, make them do the thing. Now, right here the diamond frames are actually where it gets kind of interesting um you can choose the directions and stuff you want um the delay if you want to inverse the duration and then the block type you actually want these to be um so that's that's actually really cool um, but that's pretty much it and uh yeah see you guys later